Hi. Uh, so in this video, we're going to talk about linear inequalities. All right. Uh, so I'm going to solve for you, and you're going to see uh, what is the concept uh, applied during uh, when you study about linear inequality. So for this, it's a in linear because there's a power of one. The highest power of x in the inequality is power of one. So then you multiply everything with two because there is over two here, right? So it's better for you multiply everything with two. Uh, so you multiply 2, this one also multiply 2, become 4x plus with 4, right? Uh, so you can bring the x go to the other uh, one side. So negative x minus 4x, greater or equal, 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2, right? So you have 4 plus 2 as 6, and x minus 4x is negative 3x. So this is the important part here where you must, uh, it's a very important because once you divide both sides by negative, uh, you divide both sides by negative because you want to get rid of the negative 3, so you divide both sides by negative. Either you multiply by, 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 by negative 1 or 3 or you divide by negative 3, so the sign you must change, right? The sign of the inequality you must change. When you divide both sides by a negative number or you multiply by a negative number, then we have to change the sign of the inequality, which gives you negative 2. x less or equal negative 2. So this will be the solution for uh, for this inequality. So let's move on with, with this. Uh, this is a sandwich uh, inequality. The sandwich means there is an inequality between. Right? Uh, so now uh, you have to divide this thing into two part uh, 3 minus 2x is less than x uh, and at the same time right we use the word n here uh, and because for example you have 2 between 1 and 3 right we usually will say what 1 less than 2 and at the same time 2 also less than 3 <coughs> we never use the word all right uh, so we said n uh, x less or equal 3x minus 10 all right okay now you solve this equation so you bring the x go to one side you have negative 3x right uh, this one you, you you don't changing the sign because you just minus negative 2x minus x so for this 3 negative 3 right so you only change the sign of the inequality when there you divide by negative 3 or you multiply by negative 1 over 3 so for i divide by negative 3 so if I divide by negative 3, uh, so then I start to changing the sign, right? So that I can get x greater than 1, right? Uh, this is for the case number 1, right? Case number 1, when 3 minus 2x is less than x. But this case is conditional because it uh, depends also on the second case, right? So the case 2 here. So the case 2 here is the x less or equal than the 3x minus 10. So then you have x minus 3x less or equal negative 10. So negative 2x less or equal negative 10. It's the same thing again. You, you multiply by negative 1 over 2 or you divide by negative 1 over 2. Ah, sorry, negative uh, 2. So once you divide by a negative number, you will change the sign. So then you have x more or equal 5. Right? Uh, so you have two solution but you're going to combine this solution or you by using because this is a condition this is this this one is the solution for this and this is a solution for this right but overall they are actually in between right in between so you have to fit these two solution have to fit this solution by using the operation n right and n means intersection uh, persilangan intersection of the two solution right so now you're drawing a number line uh, number line uh, one the other is five so one empty circle you're moving to the right because to depict the the greater than one and for this one is greater or equal so i dance the circle uh, so i draw uh, to the right because both the arrow pointing to the right, right, is greater than. So once you say intersection, uh, so means that 
where the two lines are overlapping. Uh, this is the part uh, where the two lines is overlapping. So what's the solution? The solution will be x greater or equal 5. Right? x greater or equal 5. So because there is a solid circle here, right? So how to know that whether your solution is correct or not? Right, uh, this is an extra knowledge for you. So how to know whether your solution for this is correct or not? Very simple. You choose a number inside the range. Uh, any number that are less than negative 2. For example, you can choose uh, negative 3. Okay, the nearest will be negative 3 or negative 4 or negative 100 or even negative 2. Alright, uh, as long as follow the range, the number must in the range. So I, let's say if I try to choose negative 3, alright. Uh, so for your knowledge, if I try to choose negative 3, I will put negative 3 here. Negative 3, okay, uh, okay, I choose negative 4, alright, negative 4, easy to calculate. So I'm choosing negative 4, negative 4 is less than negative 2. So negative 4 over with 2, minus 1, right, minus 1. So what you will get here, if you choose negative uh, 4, you put in the original equation. So you have uh, negative 3, right, uh, you have negative 3. Then for this side, you have... Uh, 2 times with the negative 4, choose negative 4 plus 2, then you will have negative 8 plus 2, then you have negative 6. Uh, definitely negative 3 is more than negative 6, right? It's more than negative 6. So it means that this is correct. But if you choose a number that not in the range, for example, negative 1, 0, a positive number, so you put inside here, uh, it will be a false statement, okay? Uh, false statement. So this is the solution. This is the same thing also. Uh, so you choose a, if you choose a number greater than 5, uh, you check the number will always in between. Alright, in between. So you can try yourself. Alright, that's all for this video.